Hello and welcome. In this match I am in the new tier 4 German battleship, the Kaiser. And I find her to be very... I don't know what to call it, mediocre I guess? The word that would describe her in my opinion accurately is meh, because she has some good sides and some bad sides. She is definitely better than the Mayogi, but uh, I don't think that she is better than a Wyoming or an Arkansas or um, well a Nikolai I guess. Like she definitely falls short of a Nikolai. One thing that I really don't like her is mostly quality of life. Um, the way that her guns are and the way that they turn. Like the two guns in the middle. Like right now I fired all five guns of this at first it seemed like a really cool idea to do this, but to be honest, it really isn't. I would much rather have one of the guns uh, that's in the middle at the front, so you had two guns at the front and then one gun in the middle and then do the you know usual stuff, something like the König. Um, because what often happens is that uh, the gun that's on the other side of the ship, like if I'm firing to the right of my ship, the gun that's on the left side in the middle will be uh, unable to fire because her firing angles are incredibly limited which is okay but the problem is that if now I start doing maneuvers and turn my ship around those guns will be in perpetual turning hell because they will keep turning the guns don't turn fast enough uh, so that you know this wouldn't be a problem and because of that well it just feels like a waste because you're not firing that one gun essentially you are reduced to firing only four guns and well compared to uh, Wyoming who has well 12 of them and the Arkansas also has 12 of them so oh and by the way if you want to actually fire uh, you know 10 of your guns the angles you get are worse than what the Wyoming gets for firing all 12. So it it is... It's quite a problem and I don't like that. I really would have just liked one of the guns to be at the front. I mean, it, it just... It just doesn't feel good. And uh, this is a big problem for me on the Kaiser. Range-wise, she also isn't very good. Uh, because the US battleships, well the Arkansas at least, gets uh, the range upgrade. The Kaiser doesn't, so she has 14.6 kilometers. She definitely loses out against the Mayogi with her like something like the Mayogi has something obscene on range. She also isn't very fast. She has good HP though, more than the Mayogi, I think, and I think more than the Wyoming. But it's a tiny advantage. Their armors aren't all that different, and um, well, she also has lower caliber guns than the Mayogi. And I think it, it's the same that as the Wyoming though, so it's not that bad, but uh, it could be better. Like right now, when I'm fighting that Mayogi, I can't fire that uh, middle gun, and that gun is permanently turning essentially. So even if I wanted to turn my ship quickly around, I couldn't use it because it would be stuck turning. I would much rather that it be uh, unable to turn over that side so that if I turn my ship around I would still have one gun able to fire there. Like right now I'm turning because of these planes. If I could keep my guns on uh, the left side now I could fire at the Mayugi with um, that one gun but I know that my guns can't turn fast enough so it's not going to work out for me. And oh my god this oh, oh it seems the carrier actually got annoyed and just left with her torpedo bombers. Okay then I guess, I guess I'll just turn back then and fight this Mayogi and Wyoming head on. Like, you can still definitely do well with the Kaiser and maybe sh I, I'm just not playing her quite right, but she just didn't feel all that amazing. She didn't necessarily feel bad like the Mayogi either, so it's okay. And just feels mediocre. Especially because she is a tier 4 battleship and well, low tier battleships aren't very known for being excellent. Oh my god, come on Mayogi, die already. Obviously select the uh, targets for secondaries because she does actually have secondaries. Like the, 
entire German line seems to be okay. Oh my god, I wanted to shoot that uh, Mayogi's gun. Like the entire German line seems to have okay secondaries, so this isn't really surprising, but it is a definite advantage. Finally, damn that that's Wyoming. I mean, Mayogi took a long time to kill. So now it's time to fight the uh, Wyoming. I only have 18,000 HP, but I mean these are random players. It should be good enough. Um, she's still full HP. I select her for secondary targeting again because selecting for targeting increases uh, your second. <laughs> wow, two Citadel heads. You are very unlucky, Wyoming. Uh, if you select the target for secondaries, the secondaries are slightly more accurate. At least. And some guys did some testing, and that's what they shared. Okay, excellent. A fire from the secondaries. Now I only need a second fire in like 15 or 20 seconds. Because he used this damage control party, and that would be a runaway fire. Notice how that he is not actually angling, so obviously I'm going to absolutely devastate him. And I killed one of his front guns, which is very good. Uh, the front gun is front guns are what you really want to use. But she keeps flipping up her skirt all the time, so it's not very surprising that she's getting punished really hard with Citadel hits. Like again, like she keeps doing it. I don't understand why. And that's why she's getting destroyed. Like I have that one middle gun that hasn't fired. Uh, maybe I'll get like an angle, so that's why I'm frantically trying to find it. And well, I did get it. So I guess the middle gun was useful here, but uh, I mean... If it had been elsewhere, it would have been more useful. And I mean, I guess not having it would be make would be worse. But um, I mean, it could have been better because the opposition does have it. In fact, the opposition has twelve of them. But the opposition does have worse sigma values, so I guess it is a little bit balanced there. So now I guess we'll just try to hit this Kolberg as much as we can and keep sailing towards the enemy sea. Maybe I'll get like a hit. No, there's no way I'm getting a hit in there. There's a Kolberg and an Izakaza next to the Langley, so that Langley is so very dead. So this Kolberg will probably be the only thing I can kill, or at least have a chance at killing. Although maybe I'll be able to fight the- oh my god, the Citadel hit. That's incredible. Maybe I'll be able to fight the DD, I guess. Oh my god, nobody has actually kept A yet. I guess it'll be up to me then. And our Izakaza has a Kraken unleashed so far. Uh, there's two enemies. Maybe I can get the Kraken too. Maybe, maybe. Well, I know I actually don't get any uh, achievements, so I can't get the Kraken unleashed medal anyway, so it doesn't really matter. In fact, if you think about it, I'm actually being hurtful to my team because I'm taking kills away from them. <clears throat> but, I mean... It's still a game, and I still want kills, so... Sorry. So, easy as love. I switched to HE because I'm only fight going to fight DDs here at this point. I want to take out the easy as love because she appears to be going for Langley. At first I thought that, uh, you know, I'm gonna try to save the Langley, but... There's also a Wakatake coming in, so... I think I'm gonna deal with the Wakatake because she is a bigger threat to me, and... Uh, it's easier to hit the closer target. Not to mention the Wakatake has um, longer range torpedoes, so they might be a bit scarier than the Izokaze will end up being. Not to mention that Langley doesn't appear to really want to actually run away, so I'm sorry, but you kinda brought this up on yourself. And because the Wakatake is still closer, uh, she is still the priority target. Especially because I think a dance with the Wakatake is uh, scarier than the uh, Izaslav. Because I can just keep running away from the Izaslav if I'm, I'm not really doing it, but I could do it. Uh, the Izaslav is getting closer now, so I'm switching targets because um, a close range Izaslav is actually scarier than a um, longer range Wakatake. So the Wakatake torpedoed me. I think the Izaslav is going to torpedo me right now. So... I do wonder. I don't think he actually got his torpedoes off. So let's focus the Wakatake now. Okay, uh... I think there might be torpedoes on the way by the Wakatake earlier because they have like this obscene reload rate. But it should be okay. 
one thing I definitely don't like on ships is uh, if you are small and maneuverable but your guns can't keep up. It's incredibly annoying. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna take, well, at least one, if not two of these. Oh, okay, uh, only one. That's good. I'm gonna repair because engine was mo immobilized. There's the second salvo, but I think I should have a good uh, HE salvo now, if my guns can track, of course. Okay, excellent. Goodbye, Wakataka. And that was actually a Kraken. Uh, we had two Krakens on uh, on our team this match, me and Izokaze. And I did 110,000 damage. I know that this game isn't very representative of the Kaiser. And I mean, that, that's why I say that she is very meh. Like, this game is a very good match for the Kaiser. But uh, it's still, you know, I did very well this time. I got rather lucky and all that stuff, but uh, overall, I feel like I didn't get that lucky. Uh, my uh, average damage in the Kaiser was 58,000 per game. I did only lose one game, but I only played six games. The one game I lost, we had two AFK battleships. So, I mean, I did well, but it, it's a small sample size, so you can't really say whether, um, you know, the ship is strong or not but um i mean she feels okay but again tier 4 battleship so you have to deal with tier 5 destroyers and all that stuff and that's just a big no-no for me and i don't really like it also look at this secondaries did over almost eleven thousand damage at tier 4 incredible just incredible wow i guess the kaiser secondaries are something so yeah my um Judgment over the Kaiser essentially is that she is meh. She doesn't feel as good as, uh, well, uh, Wyoming or Arkansas. Definitely not as good as a Nikolai. Although I haven't actually played the Nikolai, but from what I hear, she's incredibly powerful. So uh, I feel like, well, maybe she is as powerful as a Wyoming, just in a different way. But it's not like the Wyoming is some incredible ship anyway. Yeah, check that out. That Hosha got two kills, yet he was last on the board. I guess he must have disconnected before dying or something like that. But yeah, anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, I would give it, I would give the Kaiser a try if you haven't, because she, well, she might just resonate with you. Um, she didn't for me, but she seems like an okay ship. So yeah, uh, I would like to thank the patrons on Patreon who continue supporting the channel. Thank you very much for your continued support. Um, and uh, let's go with Jacob Klink. Thank you very much and I hope I see you guys next time.